Some of the common problems or objections that we have with the makeup during cleansing oil is that they don't wear makeup or they're opposed to using oils on their skin. They're afraid that they're gonna cause them to break out. One of the best reasons to use oil as a cleanser is it helps break down oil impurities on your skin. It breaks down your dirt, your sebum, pollution, dust, anything that's in the air that you've been exposed to throughout the day without stripping your skin of excess oil and it leaves your skin soft and smooth. The biggest difference between the makeup, dirt, and cleansing oil and the activated charcoal cleansing oil is really gonna be your skin type. If you have more oily and breakout prone skin, we highly suggest that you use the activated charcoal cleansing oil. Since your skin is dry, mature, with minimal breakouts, the makeup, dirt, and cleansing oil is wonderful. It's gonna help your skin in a wide variety of ways. The ingredients in this product are high in omega-6 fatty acids, vitamin E, and antioxidants. Cleansing the skin is very important, and at night we typically recommend dual cleansing with the makeup dirt and cleansing oil and then followed by the rose water cleanser. This helps make sure that you're going to bed with squeaky clean skin. At nighttime our skin repairs and rejuvenates itself. We want to make sure that we give it its optimal efficiency to be able to do that with clean skin. Our rose water cleanser is the safety net. It makes sure that all of the grime and dirt and bacteria from the day are gone. It doubles as a hydrating blemish control if you're breakout prone, and the rose water is excellent for reducing redness and inflammation in the skin. One of the most common concerns we get about our rose water cleanser is are essential oils safe for the skin? And they are, as long as they're used in skin safe ratios. All of our formulations, all of the essential oils used are for their skin nourishing benefits and properties and not specifically for their scent. And they're also well below skin safe ratios. One of the other common concerns we get about the rose water cleanser is it doesn't foam. And how does that work for my skin? So most foaming cleansers are full of drying detergents and they can evict too much oil and too much hydration from your skin. Our rose water cleanser is a non-foaming cleanser and it helps remove um, water-based impurities from your skin without stripping your skin of excess oil. For skin like yours that's dry, mature, with minimal breakouts, the rose water cleanser is fantastic. It provides you with hydrating blemish control. It restores the moisture in your skin without overstripping any excess oils. Some of the common concerns about the rosemary toner are is apple cider vinegar good for your skin? And what does toner actually do? Apple cider vinegar is actually really effective at restoring the pH of your skin and helping balance out your microbiome. But just like with any ingredient, you don't wanna to use too much of it or use it straight. All of our formulations have been formulated to skin safe ratios. So traditional toners of the past have been pretty astringent and drying to the skin. Unlike the rosemary toner, it's very neutral and balancing. It helps balance out the pH of your skin. When you're cleansing your skin, the pH of your skin gets thrown off and um, it gets a little too high. And the rosemary toner is very effective at bringing it back to its natural pH. And that allows the skin to be better receptive to any other products that you're putting on the skin after. For dry, mature, minimal breakout skin such as yours, the rosemary toner is effective at helping restore and balance the pH of your skin. Some of the most common concerns we hear about the intense hydration facial mist are, do I really need to use this? And the answer is, we'd love for you to try it. It's wonderful, it's a great addition into your routine. Do you have to use it? No. Um, but it does really help seal in any moisturizer that you're using um, at the end of your routine. It is also very calming and uplifting and it deeply nourishes and moisturizes the skin. Another common concern or question that we hear is, how is this sealing in my moisturization? And it's sealing in the hydration of your skin. Most traditional um, moisturizers and lotions, they're made with waters or hydrosols and then oils and conditioners or butters and then there are a bunch of other stuff to keep water and oil together. Um, in our line, we have those separate. It's uh, more adjustable for the skin type, so that way if you need additional hydration, you can saturate your skin with the mist and then apply your moisturizer on top. It allows the moisturizer to sink deeper into the skin without sitting on top of the skin. So what, part of the reason why it's a little bit different than traditional skincare lines is that you're able to apply this in a way that is unique to you for your skin. 
If you need additional hydration, i.e. water or the hydrosol into your skin, you're able to mist your skin more and then use the correct amount or the suitable amount for your skin type of moisturizer afterwards. This is very cooling. You can put it in the refrigerator to just give it a little additional of that cooling um, properties and helps reduce the redness and inflammation in your skin. For dry, mature, minimal breakout prone skin such as yours, the Intense Hydration Facial Mist is going to help nourish and hydrate your skin before you apply your moisturizer. Some of the common concerns that we hear about the Repairing Facial Serum is how is this going to help with dark spots or hyperpigmentation? The Repairing Facial Serum is excellent in helping reduce redness, hyperpigmentation, and blotchiness, or any other discoloration concerns you may have with your skin. Another common question we hear about the Repairing Facial Serum is why is this the last step in my routine and why wasn't I recommended another moisturizer. For skin that is mature or more dry, we recommend using the Repairing Facial Serum as an additional layer of hydration and moisture before adding in your final moisturizer. For dry, mature, minimal breakout skin like yours, the Repairing Facial Serum can add an additional layer of hydration and moisture. It can also help reduce blotchiness and redness that you may have. The Petit Gray Moisturizer is an ideal daily moisturizer for most skin types. It's deeply moisturizing and conditioning to the skin, helping alleviate dryness and flakiness. It also fights bacteria and helps reduce redness. So one of the most common questions is that people don't want to use oils on their skin. It's a common misconception that um, oil, oil-based products can lead to additional breakouts but oil-based products can actually help your skin rebalance your sebum production. Many times we start overproducing oil because we're stripping all of our good oil that we, our skin naturally produces for us. And when you switch over to an oil-based moisturizer, it just helps create a little bit more balance for you. One of the biggest differences between the Intense Hydration Cactus Concentrate and the Petite Gray Moisturizer is the Cactus Concentrate actually targets um, more hormonal breakouts in the skin, and it can also help with under eye darkness or discolorations under the skin. It helps even and brighten the skin. And the Petit Gray Moisturizer is a little bit heavier and provides more all day moisturization. The Petit Gray Moisturizer is made with raw, organic, fair trade shea butter. It's very conditioning and soothing. The Petit Grain Essential Oil can help rebalance sebum production in the skin. And Sweet Almond Oil is a great skin conditioner and it's loaded with vitamin E. For dry, mature, minimal breakout skin such as yours, the Petit Grain Moisturizer can deeply nourish, condition, and moisturize your skin and improve your complexion.